Well, we will check your weather and traffic in just a moment, but we want to begin with that deputy shooting that we've been following all night. Yeah, right now, police are questioning a man in the case. The shooting happened just after midnight over on Alabama and Briley near the TSU campus. This morning, we've got team coverage with Anusha Rasta and Amy Davis uh, at the hospital. We want to begin with Anusha, who's at the scene, to tell us what happened before the shooting started. Anusha? Oh, and Precinct 7 tells us that Deputy Constable and his partner had just parked over there at that convenience store here in the third ward on Alabama. Right now, a tow truck is taking a constable's vehicle away. We're not sure who that vehicle belongs to. But that deputy constable was reportedly standing outside his female partner's patrol car, leaning in, talking to her when somebody, we're told, came up to him from behind and gunned him down. The shooting happened just after midnight outside the Alabama store market here in the third ward. The gunman shot the deputy multiple times. Female deputy got out of her car, the partner that is, and saw a suspect running across the street. So she fired once. She exited her vehicle. Her patrol car and looked across the street where she saw the suspect. Fearing for her safety and that of her, her partner who had already been shot, she returned fire. The suspect then fled, and the deputy then called for assistance because obviously her partner needed to be taken to the hospital immediately. The deputy who was shot was rushed to Memorial Hermann Hospital. Doctors say there are two bullets lodged in his abdomen. One near his heart. He's been in surgery for several hours now. We'll get an update from my colleague Amy Davis in just a moment. HBD has confirmed, though, that investigators are questioning somebody they have detained who matches the description of the gunman. That person apparently showed up to a nearby fire station. He was not hurt. Also, we don't know why he showed up to the fire station. A spokesperson with Harris County Precinct 7 says, quote, the shooting was completely unprovoked. Nobody else was hurt. We'll have live updates for you on this story every half hour this morning. For now, reporting live in the third ward, Anusha Rasta, KPRC Channel 2 News.